All right, Attorney General Eric Holder facing another round of questioning from members of Congress, and yet more calls for him to resign his position. So is it time for him to step aside? Let's step aside and introduce Senator Mike Lee. He was at yesterday's hearing, and he represents the great state of Utah. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, in watching that particular video, uh, whether or not it's time for him to quit. That, that was a high point. I, that took a lot of uh, courage. It certainly did, and th there are those who are calling for his resignation now. Mr. Holder, of course, has indicated he has no intention of resigning, and the president appears to be stepping aside, uh, standing behind him and saying that he's not going to ask him to resign. In the meantime, it's important for us to focus on the reason why some are suggesting it's time for him to resign. Uh, this is an administration that has repeatedly thumbed its nose at the law and the Constitution, and these are problems. This is, these are reasons why the American people should be looking to change out not just the Attorney General, but the entire administration with this false election. Well, I'll tell you what, in the end, I know Senator Blumenthal would say, oh, you're doing a great job, and then a Republican senator, you're doing a horrible job, so it went back and forth all day. But in the end, it seems as though the Attorney General is coming forward looking to cooperate and provide thousands of documents. Are you optimistic? Well, any time he says he's going to cooperate, uh, I, I, I can only hope that he is going to cooperate. So far, we haven't gotten everything that we need. We haven't had our questions answered. And there are still a lot of lingering doubts uh, uh, about what actually happened here. I, I want him to cooperate, and we're going to continue to hold his feet to the fire within this committee, of course. Okay, so John Cornyn asked him to resign, and here is what the Attorney General said in response. I'm the Attorney General that put an end to the misguided tactics that were used in Fast and Furious. An Attorney General who I suppose you would ha hold in higher regard was briefed on these kinds of tactics in an operation called Wide Receiver and did nothing to stop them. Nothing. 300 guns at least walked in that instance. I'm also the Attorney General who called on an Inspector General to look into this matter, to investigate this matter. I'm also the Attorney General who made personnel changes at ATF and in the U.S. Attorney's Office that was involved, have overseen the uh, changes of processes and procedures within ATF to make sure that this doesn't happen ever again. So I don't have any intention of resigning. Uh, and, but, you know, maybe he is uh, going to come play ball now because he is calling to meet with the Speaker. But wide receiver, dramatically different than Fast and Furious. Yes, yeah, yes, it, it was, and it still doesn't answer the question of why it is that we've had a different set of explanations at every single stage of this investigation. At one stage, he was telling us, no, there was no gun walking that we were ever aware of. At another stage, we, we asked him the question. I personally asked him the question in a hearing that we held in October of uh, whether they were aware of gun walking as a result of certain uh, wiretap right. affidavits that were filed in court and he said no that would not have been the case it now appears that that may have been the case All right. and so this story continues to evolve and we sometimes get different answers and that's the cause for a lot of the frustration different answers let's just hope uh, more documents alright uh, Mike Lee senator from Utah thank you sir for joining us today from the Russell Rotunda